Who hupenda sana. Hallelujah. Ni kama leo. Do you know mtu kama president Luto? Au wewe president. Kwa maana ako kwa uongozi. Agependa any place he visits iwe na meaning. Sivyo ma president apitie bahati aseme eh, nimekuja kujua tu vile mnakaa. Alafu ende Dadora eh, kuwasalimia. Ende Nyeri kuwasalimia. That is waste of time. Kwa maana ni mtu akona power, ni mtu akona sauti, ni mtu ambao ni president atakiwa haya. Hello praise God. Na kama ataalikwa na watu tu asalimia watu. To him hiyo ni kuharibu wakati. Angetaka akienda pahali kwa maana ye ni mtu wa kipekee na ni rais awe na neno la faida. The same with God. God would like to visit. Lakini anje asikie ameponya mtu. Anje ajue kuna familia imeponywa. Anje ajue kwamba kuna msichana amekobolewa. To God that is more important than just visiting. Na kwa hivyo leo nikataka in Christ expect a miracle. Abia bwana, can you take a moment abia bwana to, today speak to my issues. Na mwambie bwana ni wapi kuna uma? Labda uko na shida, umepigiwa simu mama yako ni mgojwa. Labda uko na ulemavu wa tubo. Labda hamsikizani kwa nyumbani. Mwambie bwana as you move now touch that area, touch that area of need. Uma kashata raba touch touch oh god nguza 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 miguu yangu ambayo ina uma igilia biashara yangu na ipanue make open an area of need kwa maana mungu has the bear to the bear to kujua hali yako god can only come to perform a miracle god can only come to do something god can only come to do something significant kwa maana he has he is all powerful he is all wise Abia bwana achilia hekima yako achilia hekima yako kwa mambo inayonisubua katika jina la Yesu haleluya baba katika Kristo unajua jabo ambalo huu mama ametaja jabo ambalo huu dada wetu ametaja jabo ambalo huu mwana yudhi amegojea Jabo ambalo hii familia huu mzee ametaja and now by the word of god 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 to the glory of the name of jesus jabro rote ambalo imetajwa mungu wangu kutana nalo sasa for you are all powerful all wise you are a miracle working jesus oh yesu wesi wa kawaida hauongei kawaida hauguzi mtu kawaida everywhere you went you did glorious thing for you are glorious lord rama shakataba ninanenea ugonjwa huo uti nanenea maumivu hao ya ti sasa ya pone katika kristo kira shira ambayo meundwa kinyuma chako because i know three quarter ya watu waliyo hapa what you have made open to god is an issue of warfare I say right now as I said here three quarter mkutano huu yale mambo umeweka wazi kwa Bwana ina involve vita right now by the word of God my God my God take over that battle take over that battle take over that battle take over that war take over take over take over my God my God kutana na hiyo shiraha za adui in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus kikao chochote adui amejipanga ili avamie ile family na muangamiza kwa damu ya Yesu na mashaka tababosaka oh my god posutu ni mama makata raposhota ingilia baba leta amani na fiva yako in Christ we pray pigia Yesu makofi ni bwana haleluya Mungu ana mpango we going to share about the healing and restoration plan of God Mungu ana mpango wa uponyaji na ana mpango wa urejesho. Tunaishi wakati ambapo dunia ni kama the before the world i, 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 before development au kuwa na jambo lote lile Mungu angetaka kuponya na kurejesha. Na kuna mambo, mambo kadhaa ambao Bwana angetaka kufanya. Kitu kimoja ukiangalia kitabu cha John chapter 5 
John chapter 5 Bibi nasema hivi wale watu ambao walikuwa wametupwa na wanakaa the Bible says something interesting let's see the scripture baada ya hayo mhm mm palikuwa na siku kuu ya Wayahudi na Yesu akakwea kwenda Jerusalem na huko Jerusalem penye mlango wa kodoo panabirika itoka kibrania Bethesda we are reading John chapter 5 now we have verse 3 Dani hayo jam, dani hayo jamii kubwa ya wagonjwa walikuwa wamelala vipofu viwete nao waliopoza wakigojea maji ya chemke kwa maana kuna wakati ababo malaika hushuka akaingia katika ile bilika akayatibua maji basi yeye aliyeingia wa kwanza baada ya maji kutibuliwa akapona ugonjwa wote uliokuwa umempata na palikuwa na mtu verse 5 ambaye alikuwa hawezi muda wa miaka 38 Yesu alipomuona huyu amelala naye akijua ya kuwa amekuwa hali hiyo siku nyingi alimwambia wataka kuwa mzima na one of the oh my god one of the thing that god want to do is to deal with that, that situation let us analyze john, john chapter 5 one john chapter 5 inaongea kuhusu a place in jerusalem mahali watu waliozidiwa na magojo na ulemavu walikuwa wanawekwa inasema kwa sababu kuna wakati Malaika ageshuka not always wakati occasional Malaika ageshuka kwa bilika la maji ambao inaitwa Bethesda na akitibua maji nataka muangalie the practice now siko umefikiria i wish ningekuwa na 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 na, 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 na pool hapa tunajaga moja hapa it was this way Malaika akitibua maji Hayakuwa ya naponya throughout. Si maji kitibirua hivi kuna waves natoa. So what they used to do, where born in Mugonjwa, ugeigizu wa manamoja, kabla ya those waves kuisha. Kwa maana kama igekua maraika amelet, ehe, na jabra pili, amen, Bible nasema wagonjwa likuwa wengi. Ndiabura pii ni kwamba anaye ingia wa kwanza baada umaraika kutubwa maji. Ndiya kepona. That's all. Nataka muangali how the world is. Dunia ina competition and sometimes is merciless. Mahali kama pale wagojwa wale wamezidiwa na waligojea wapate rehema na fadhili. But the situation of healing the method of healing haikuwa na nafasi ya masi. Ilikuwa na nafasi ya anaye ingia kwanza. Did you hear that? Hello? Dunia haina the system in the world. It does not operate on grace and mercy. It operates na anai ingia kwanza. That's all. Na majority ya watu duniani hii wametupwa inje kwa sababu ya standard. Hapa kuna standard. Inasema this is a standard. Maraika ingie. Atibue maji. <coughs> maji. And then anaingia kwanza upon it. That's all. That's all. Hata kama utalia meaka ngapi, hata kama utakuwa umegojeka. Uh, you see, this man, <coughs> alika hapa meaka 38. Number, let us analyze this man. Meaka 38, number 2, hajiwezi, number 3, hana mtu. Watu kama hao 
hujiwezi na huna mtu na situation iliyokuwa katika ile pool demanded uweze na uwe na mtu huyu hawezi na hana mtu wa kumuingiza malaika anapata kutibua maji which means this it's not possible upon it na currently hello hello system ya dunia ni kama iko hivyo na kuna group ya watu kuna watu wengi ambao space yao inakosa standard demands na the standard vile na demand kuna uwezekano wale watu ambao wanategemea wanagojea rehema because huwezi na una mtu you may not have access and one of the things that Christ want to do hallelujah katika kanisa la Yesu kanisa la Yesu na hii nafasi msipoteze Jesus want to visit that group of people Bible inasema Kristo alipokaribia this pool alilenga huyu jamaa Na Bible inasema Kristo hakuhitaji kuabiwa amekaa hapo miaka 38 kwa maana Bible inasema kwamba akijua ako hali hiyo Christ knew Kristo akijua ako hali hiyo muda mrefu alikuja direct kwake na ukiangalia vile Yesu aliongea akasema Yesu akamuona amelala na akamwambia yule mgonjwa do you want to be whole now one of the problem ni kwamba kuna wakati mtu huumia mpaka ukiambiwa majina kama kupona utajiri kuinuliwa kupaju you know those names are very strange to your situation umeteseka sana umesukumwa sana umeumia sana kwaba kuabiwa kwaba unaweza kuwa mzima kuabiwa kwaba unaweza enda mbali kuabiwa kwamba wewe ndio utakuwa kiongozi wa family hayo mambo inakuwa shida kuyaelewa tunaishi wakati ambapo watu sio original katika akili yako you are made to be great lakini hali imekusukuma mpaka you are not what you think now what is this shida na mapigo zinakusukuma mpaka and this is what the devil is doing mpaka ule ushuhudo ulikuwa naye na ile akili ya kufaulu ulikuwa naye inaitikia kwamba hakika you are not succeeding kwa jia moja hii wastage of resources and time the wastage of time and seasons unapata huu ni dada kanisani huu ni ndugu kanisani umekaa for instance miaka 38 na ukijua huu mtu hakwenda hapo akiwa mtoto which means prime time was gone kama huu mtu aliletwa hapo akiwa na miaka 20 akae miaka 38 ni kumaanisha alikuwa na miaka amekaa na age ya miaka 58 miaka ya nguvu imeisha akiwa kwenye bilika la maji akiwa hajiwezi right now i would like us to believe god kwamba miaka yetu ya nguvu should not be wasted again hii mambo ya kukaa unakaa eh ukifika miaka 50 you know sometimes well, sometimes when you go to university unakuta uni mzee wa miaka kuna bishop rafiki yangu ako na miaka 68 at the age of 68 nilimuona akipata phd ku kaambia it's okay bishop what's happening naona uko ku almost 70 akaambia bishop mimi sisomi sisomi ili tu nisaidie anybody but niliapa sitakufa kama sina phd kwa nini 
kwa maana nika mtoto mdogo sikuzomeshwa na tuliteseka atari hapa mama tatu namba 1 walikuwa squatter aka hapa kwa ba lazima atajenga nyumba ya kifahari nyumba kubwa sana ya kuishi nyumba kubwa kwa bo kiona na na akaamua kwamba Mungu ampe upako wa mashaba that man has a lot of blood tukio kama bishop ni mashaba ika 200 ika 1000 yani rafiki yangu sana jabra pili na kwa maana si kusomeshwa niri hapa nita, nitaitwa doctor one day jabu lingine kanisa ile wali, walikuwa na shirika kwa watoto wadogo ilikuwa dogo ya matope akasema lazima atajegea Mungu a very big cathedral so my bishop i'm fulfilling three things that i must fulfill ah sawa sawa bwana sio sana ah si vibaya kusoma kuwa mzee sana lakini if possible haleluya if possible nataka miaka ya nguvu tukubali mtu huzeeka na mtu ulitaya that's true hello praise god na ni vizuri miaka yetu miaka 38 mtu hajiwezi nataka msikize miaka 38 mtu hajiwezi is a lot of time wasted na huu mtu alizekea hapo na hata kama Yesu alimponya alimponya tu amuondoe hapo na akamilishe akamilishe maisha akiwa na amani which is okay but Jesus nimemuomba na Bwana akaniambia sasa enda uambie kanisa haleluya watumie munda wa, wa majira yangu ya kuwatembelea kwa sababu Jesus knew this man amekaa hivyo na alipokuja akamwambia gentleman you must be made whole ukitaka kuwa mzima akamwambia ah, Jesus you know something you know the story maraika anaposhuka sina mtu wa kuingiza kwa maji and i've been here he said no no do this chukua godoro lako na uende akaenda na akawa mzima now one thing that Jesus want to do ni kutembelea wadugu na wandanda na kuwaonyesha rehema and jesus mapema sana even today in this service want to release your miracle and to set you free katika jina la yesu wewe hutakaa miaka dhati na kwa umekaa yako 12 umekaa yako 10 <laughs> na hiki tumjue Nipia kija mgeni simu kambia how are you gentleman yes how old are you that years mwingine how old are you that two years have you noticed some brothers mtu anakaa kifiki ako na nguvu mtu wa miaka 32 na hajaoa na hana shughuli nasema ah sina haraka bishop hiyo ni kuharibika akili <laughs> Bible inasema help us to count our days. Tusaidie kuhesabu siku zetu ili tuwe na moyo wa hekima. Sasa huyu niambia tuseme atawa na miaka 34 kwa maana amekataa labda taamka kwa miaka 34. Si kweli? Akiwa na miaka 42 eh? na akiwa na miaka 50 atakuwa tu na watoto wachanga. Akiwa na miaka 50 atakiwa watoto wake wawe karibu wote wako high school. Ule mdogo dia kosa district ni 8 sio ni toje siku hizi. Nyinyi dio muko muko muko. Eh. eh baba shiru anajua nimesimumsikia yeye yeah, huko. Yeah. Muko mtu akiwa miaka 52 na na mtoto ananyonya. Muko mtu akiwa miaka 60 amepewa litaya na kuna mtoto 36. Hello? <laughs> Mtu wako miaka 70 na ako na mtoto form 3 sio form 4 Nilipata mzee mmoja ndiko mbele mazishi katanga muranga na tuko tumeta siku akina baba Jerry kufika shopping center i saw man kabia how are you bishop come it's okay twende mazishi twende lakini alikuwa mrevi saa 4 kabisa kwa nini wewe 
nitoke ukweli kwani umekunywa ni saa nne akasema sasa kuficha mimi nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya sifo servant nimeritaya na nimetoka kwa kwangu mapema nitorokee mama i wanted to run away from my wife kwa sababu kuna mahesabu si kufanya na kama nilifanya ah uh, nili 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 usikupanga ako na watoto wachanga ako na miaka 62 na ako na watoto high school na hana mshahara na ni na ni mrevi mama alikuwa amezoea kumuona mwisho wa mwezi wenyewe wazee mna nyinyi wazee wa Nairobi hii mama akogeshagi unajua <laughs> kuna mtu haukutumia muda na mke wako i recommend if possible ukioa ukae na mke wako fasa msubwane kidogo mzoeane do, do you know kuna mzee wa miaka 60 na mzee wa miaka 60 na ameoa na hajaoa ile muda mtu ukaa na mke mnadhigidhana <laughs> kidogo ndio kwa na osmosis eh ndio muoane unajua kuna harusi na kuna kuoa ukifanya harusi mwaka mmoja kuoa kunaweza chukua miaka kumi au miaka tano. ufike pahali usikie na sasa mke wangu mume wangu we are relating we are flowing sasa uliolewa joy ukaachwa it's true hello praise god juzi kuna family i know the family i was their pastor Baba amefanya kazi na NGOs. Unamsikia kwa Tanzania, Uganda, Sierra Leone. But all children are lost. The first born who is a Gaga bishop. I dad did well to work. But we we don't know our dad. Dad hatujui na si hatumjui. Tunaishi maisha yetu kama watoto saa hii eh <laughs> dio baba amerudi na dio ni kama anaoa sasa dio anaanza kukaa na mke wakiwa na miaka karibu 70 hello praise god watoto wote they are lost the first born is a lady abia bishop akasema number one bishop i wish although baba yetu alienda nje agetuacha mikononi mwako kama na baba alienda na akatutoa mikononi mwako ugetusaidia hello praise god sasa uko na miaka 65 70 eh na unakuta every time ni makesi kesi ya drugs kesi ya kuna mtu anyway mambo mabaya katika uzee hasa kama huyu huyu anasema hasa mimi mama alizoea kuniona mwisho wa mwezi na mpesa sasa kurudi nimeritaya sina mshahara anakaa hapo anajaribu kurelate na mke wake wakiwa na miaka 65 anaambia mama usiende kesha anaambia a a tangu zamani nimekuwa nikienda wakati huko yako ngombe azimjui na ni zake mbwa haimjui na ni yake you see hello praise god hao watoto hamjui ye ni mzee wa school fees na mshahara hello <laughs> bwana sio sana bwana hataki tukae hii miaka 38 miaka 38 sijiwezi miaka 38 ni miaka yangu ya nguvu miaka 38 hiyo ndio miaka ya kuinua family ndio miaka yako ya kununua mashaba ndio miaka yako ya kuhubiri ndio miaka yako ya talent ndio miaka ya nguvu ndio miaka ya gifting na waambieni na mnisikize Kristo anasema leo si bishop Kristo anasema leo agataka we mzima hautagojea miaka 38 right now nyinyi mlio kwa ibada Kristo already ako around. Uh jamaa, Kristo alimpata akiwa amekaa. Nyinyi mumepatwa mkiwa mjakaa. Pokeni uponyaji na mwe na nguvu. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. 
Hallelujah. Na leo tunaombea maisha kila mtu hapa. We going to pray for you. Eh. Hey. Na sijui nitakuwa register mara mbili. Tuko na register. Na nitakuwa prefect. Register your presence. Register your development. Register your establishment. Haya. Nitakuwa na register hivi. Huu ni huu ni mlikikuja hapa. Eh. Hey. Huu ni mlioki. Hallelujah. Mi upenda mtu. Huyu Mungu akubariki dugu. Hallelujah. Na shukuru Mungu. Mimi nikiona hawa watu na nasema Mungu tu nataka kuishi miaka mingi niona maajabu. Buliokiwa alikuwa hapa nje. Hapa kulikuwa na nyasi. Ka hapa nje. Zamani. Alikuwa amelala hapo na baba wa home na nani. Sasa mimi nikija ofisi na kuta amelala hapo. Unu, unajua uwe hakusaidi hawa haobi. nakachaika kipikwa labda useme na na walio pale kwa nyasi mayo yekobe <laughs> lakini one day nikaja nikasema in the name of jesus ninawafukuza kwa na kabisa nikasema nataka mwende na kama hamuna imani mtumia yangu nimeombea and then mupate kazi hello unajua nani alikuwa anafukuza si bishop ni yesu Jesus visited them. Akasema hamtakami aka 38. Lazima hiyo ipunguke labda bili natosha. <laughs> Wapendwa bili natosha we upate uzima. Amen. Huwa alikuwa kwa giti pale na alilia. Akasema aniambia alilia sana. Lakini hiyo kilio ilikuwa ilikuwa operation. Kwa maana hapo ndio alipata sauti kamwambia aende company fulani. Do you know hii biashara mnamliweka akifanya ilianza kwa giti kwani alipoenda kazini straight away mshahara wake kidogo alianza ku save aanze ni bakery bakery within with, uh, na kukaa sana within a very short time akawa na bakery hapa Jogoro Road akawa na company uko na company ni tatu sasa akawa na company tatu sasa company ya bakery akawa company ya catering na muzione mlikia kipika hapa mlisikia kazi yake ni hapa tu the other day is to pastor nganga anamwambia pastor nganga kwa nek ana supply vitu pasa anakutaka boga za huyu na ma, eh? na company nyingi hapa ni kidogo akona network tulipokuwa tukisubuka tukiwa ke hiyo eh, conference pale eh, indo alina tunauliza sasa tutapikia wapi anga msiwe na shaka plot moja inapakana na hii eh Kasarani Sports Complex ni yangu nita hapa mpikia yani he so blessed paka tukisubuka plot moja hapo ni yake na zingine nyingi i know sasa zimezidi nyingi sitaambia ni ngapi i know the record na ni nyingi kuliko vile namuona hello yeah mi naamini si mimi si mimi nipitia kwa hiyo nyasi ni Yesu alipitia kwa hiyo sasa sasa hamtakami akadha tete nyinyi amjiwezi ofiei kwa sababu kuna roho ambao unless you are careful utaona kama tu ni kawaida ina hii jina hauwezi haiongei kuhusu only physical features inaongea also akili This day Satan is not attacking the legs. He is attacking the mind. Unapata msichana kama Joy na wengine uko na degree. Eh? Uko na masomo lakini akili haiwe haiwezi. Because it's one thing to have the head. E na kuwa na knowledge is another thing to have wisdom. Wisdom is different from knowledge. Knowledge ni masomo tunapata na exposure. Wisdom ni uwezo wa kubadilisha knowledge ikuletee faida, pesa na nafasi. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. I know there's a, a, a little girl, there's a, a lady here akiniona tu anasema bishop na joy dear baba. Mimi mimi si baba, baba yake yako daliaga. Lakini alikuja hapa akiwa house girl. I remember ni tukapata kazi kwa bishop mmoja rafiki yangu Anglican and I thank God for the wife of that bishop kwambia nataka kupeleka early childhood just a certificate 
Satifi tu ya ali childhood. Ako na shure, ako na manyuba. What is that? Ni kuchukua maalifa kidogo, ibadilike iwe hekima. Hekima ni uwezo wa kutumia maalifa. Mpaka inakuwa productive na nakuletea faida maisha na unafauru maisha ni. So mutu ambaye, now, <laughs> according to God, Amen. Agetaka kukupatia nafasi. And now, what God wants to do now in, as a restoration ni ni kutoa watu katika hali ya kutokuweza. This man, Bible inasema hawezi. And one of the attack ya kutokuweza since these days, beside maba ya magonjwa, ni akili kukosa nafasi. And Satan is working day and night. Akitumia hali, akitumia hewa, akitumia situations, environment, to make sure mutu akili yako haifanyi kazi. But today, nataka kama vile muriokea, alitoka kwa nyasi, akaeda kuwa na biyasha zake tatu na kubalikiwa. Nataka tuwabea watu hapa. Hii hali yate hawezi miaka bili, hawezi miaka tatu, ete stop. You should now be productive. Amen. Haya, musione kama ni jabo la kawaida. Uwe na kijana wa miaka 34. Na haja owa. Uwe na msichana. Uwe na uwe maisha. Please. Mugu angetaka right now kwa ibada. Vire alipata umutu. Aje in your situation. Kristo akaja. Na akijua. Huyu mutu amekuwa hali hiyo. Miaka hiyo yote. Akamambia rise up and walk. Now. Nataka tuagalia the words Chris walitumia. Anytime Jesus, Jesus wakati wa healing, angetumia majina mawili. Kuna wakati Yesu wagesema, would you like to be whole? If you check this scripture, wakati Yesu alipata huyu mtu, aha, Alimuliza. Yes, uh, na yaka mjua. Aka, huh. Let's check verse 6. Yesu alipo muona huya melala. Na yaki jua kuwa amekuwa hali hiyo. Siku nyingi. Aka mambia. Wataka kuwa mzima. Iji na mzima. Jesus. Ukeda kwa New King James Version. Or King James Asma. Would you like to be whole? Now. Anytime Jesus aliponya mtu. Na natumia. Would you like to be whole? Jina ho It is all inclusive Haya hmm. Ata mutu wagalie Healing ya Yesu Hako nasema Would you like to be healed Sema, Would you like to be whole To be whole Kulingana na akili Na maon Na, ma, na mpango wa Yesu It is complete healing it's complete restoration. It is complete renewal. Yani ugetaka kuwa muzima. In other words, nina kutoa hapa upone kabisa. Na I want to restore your full gifting. And number three, I want to repay. Nafasi ambozi mepokea meka that eight. Kama ni mimi na kuponya, I'll make sure I restore them. Hallelujah. Nataka kuambia Yesu kama ni yeye anakuponya leo kuna speed utaenda. Kwa maana kwa muda miaka mbili Jesus will be recovering the lost. Kuna biashara utapata uingize pesa nyingi kwa maana Kristo angetaka nafasi zisopotea na ni kwa wale ambao na muamini kumtegemea ziwe restored so jesus knowing that you have been suffering for many days want to make you whole in this service and today we are declaring you must be whole kama uko hapa na hauwezi jina haiwezi haisemi utembei you are not performing you are not performing you are bowed kiakili mikono Haufauru maishani. Anything unaanza inanguka. By the command of God, we're going to command you to be whole. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Sasa naambia kwaba bila kadi naandikwa you are pres- you are present you are presence and prayer on whatever we will be saying your presence and your development and your money and your establishment will be highly appreciated. We don't need all where your presence your blessings your development your establishment your whatever we will be highly appreciated. We don't have to take it to your presence. We also want to see your development. We want to see your improvement. Tutaongeza majina hapo. Your presence, your establishment, your profit, your money, your goodness, we will be highly appreciated. We don't not only your presence. Atukone tu mekepi, tutaka kuhona we ni nani. Na kanisa tutakiwa tukubadrishe. Not just being present, but being profitable. Hallelujah. It's possible to balikiwa wapendwa. Ah, uh, it's possible. Na tubarikiwe na mtu ajue ni baraka. Let me something. Anytime God blesses you, all your money and all your life can be anything for God. Mungu akitaka leo milioni 2, kumpa si shida kwako. Because kile uko nacho ni blessing. Bwana akitaka hii plot iwe yake, akwambie nataka hii plot iwe yangu, lipa. Kwako si problem. Because you are blessed of God. Hallelujah. Now, Jabul ambao ni kimesi. Jabul ingira la maana sana. La maana sana. Mungu angetaka kukuongeza another chapter. Let, let, let's see something now. In 1st King chapter 19, as we finish now. 1st Kings chapter 19. 1st <clears throat> Kings chapter 19 Bible inasema basi Ahab akamwambia Yezembeli habari ya mambo yote aliyoyafanya Elia na jinsi alivyowaua manabii wote kwa upanga ndipo Yezebeli akampelekea Elia mujube akasema miungu wanifanyie hivyo na kuzidi Nisipo kufa, nisipo ifa, nisipo kufanya roho yako kesho panapo wakati huu kama roho ya moja wapo ya hao now who ni elia baada ya kuomba na bwana akajibu na moto na manabii wa bali na ashara manabii wa chafu wakawao wote na israel waka muinamia Jehova waka murudia. na pia mvua ikanyesha mvua ikanyesha sana kwa ule mlima wa kameli Jezebel hakuja have you ever noticed that ni ahab alikuja na taifa Jezebel kama mjui hakuwa we hakuwa mmoja wapo wa waisraeli Jezebel alikuwa amekuja kwa kuagamiza Jezebel was a foreigner Jezebel had a, had a different mission Jezebel had nothing to do with Jehovah. Alikuwa na migu yake. And that's the problem in marriage. Ukiolewa au uoe mtu ambao siwa imani yako. You know, I have this issue. Now youth, you need to be very careful. This time youth, youth wengi hawajari imani. Bora tu ati mtu asema yesu. Now, imanaza kutulatea shida. Waschana wameanza kurudi na machozi hawa. Bishop, maini lienda, nitafanya haji. Ubatizo wao. Kuna moja niambia kwa haba mume wake ametia musichana mimba na hiyo si ishio kanisani. Ateabia waze, haa hiyo si ishio ni majaribu. Mume wake kachukua house girl. Wakahasa mchezo. Hiyo kanisa walienda, hiyo si mabaya yao, hiyo ya hii. Sasa dada kaza kukoro kwa mbedona, mimi nili kuonya. There's no way faith ya mtu na tabia za mtu hata kwa effect. Eh? Hello, praise God. Kuna mwingine mke anyambia, Bishop, wewe unajua huduma hii tulimtoa? Pastor wao alikuwa msharati sana. Hata nilienda huko, nikamjaribu kwa mkumu epuka asiniguze na asinione. Ah, wewe alikuwa. Eh, Bishop wewe ore. Hiyo bego ni huku. 
Sasa mwenye dada ameona na dugu ambaye mahali dugu alitoka. Na hiyo vitu na affect. So ni vizuri sana Jezebel had nothing to do with righteousness, had nothing to do with holiness, had nothing to do with Jehovah. Yeye hana haja. Yeye ana miungu yake na ndiye ameangusha Israeli. Ikawa vita ni katikati ya Elijah na mapepo na ma, 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 na, na, na madhabahu ya Jezebel. Na Elijah alifikiri vita imeisha wakati moto ulishuka na akaangamiza madhabahu ya giza na whatever aligudua vita haijaisha kwa maana kuna kitu kimabaki he has not dealt with Jezebel Jezebel is still around na Elijah hiyo kitu hakuwa naifikiria na jambo lingine Elijah hakujua hakuwa nafikia ni kwamba he has provoked demons let me tell you something anytime unaona umeingia katika vita kali vita kali au umeingia na hii mshike umeingia katika hatua za maendeleo za hali ya juu two things that you prove demons Mungu akuinua na baraka sana ujue kuna mapepo haitafurahi you must be awake to address them haleluya au auingie kwa vita kali kabisa ujue the more you win battles the more you become an enemy to the real enemy. Hello, praise God. Sasa Elijah alijua hivi. Ahab hakuwa adui. Ahab alikuwa good man, lakini ameoa mtu wa mashetani. Alijua sasa alinenewa na Jezebel baada ya ushindi wa mlima wa Kameli. Kabano Elijah, you need to know I'm still the queen. Niko Elia. Sasa ni mimi na wewe tutaonana. Na kesho saa kama hii, vile umetendea manabii hao wangu, I will do to I must slaughter you. Now Elijah was not ready for that. Na hakuwa ameomba. Na kwa sababu hiyo, hiyo jambo limpata of God ikamweka uoga. Na akawa sasa uh, Elijah bado sema naye alipoona hayo aliondoka that is first kings 19 verse 3 akaenda ahifadhi roho yake akafika Beersheba muji wa Yuda akamoja mtumishi wake huko naye mwenyewe akaenda verse 4 katika jango wa mwenda wa siku moja akaenda akaketi chini ya mletimu akajiombea roho yake afe akasema ya tosha e bwana uiondoe roho yangu another idea that god want to address ni hiyo kuna hero ya Jezebel is a very painful demonic presence and attack it is attacking families it's attacking businesses it is attacking the youth ni roho ya miungu ya kigeni roho ya desturi za kigeni roho ya kuwa roho ambao haina ruhu, haina huruma it can dest- is a spirit is a spirit <laughs> unajua i was surprised that, uh, i was in the office i remember that this young girl mama amekuja na msichana hapo naona mama pia anaongea nikiangalia msichana anainama nikaona desa kambia msichana how are you niangalia kufanya hivi kambia nianga kumshika akaga akaguka chini kambia anyway there were demons there was war in the office praise god <laughs> nakumbuka brother mwangi alifikiri ali, ali, ali bishop ana uawa sababu alikuja kwa mlango kwa in case kuna shida atumie vese ko proto <laughs> eh wangu alikuwa hapo because hao watu wameingia ushetani ukiachilia uki upako they really react mama hakujua the daughter ameingia hiyo kitu she was delivered that girl alipokobolewa 
alikimbilia akanishika akaacha aka, kukivu akalia nikamwambia why are you crying akabia bishop kabla huja niombea ni kuagalia macho macho yako likuwa ni choma sana na akaniambia vile kama ingia satanism actually niambia bishop nataka uagalie record kuna bus tuliangusha Eldoret mimi na msana mwingine kagua hata police record na tuliwa watu karibu wote bishop nikwambia anybody we kill mukizika sisi hufuata kwa kaburi na tunatoa hiyo mwili we eat that meat we don't leave nyama ya mtu tumeua damu na nyama nakaleka naongea ni msana miaka 15 poka shida kaliingia lini hello praise god kile kinishangaza ni methodology ya bishop ah nyinyi ya mjui you have so many method kama gani the other day tulipa tukaenda kwa mama mmoja tukamwangushia eh, scorpion to you ni mnyama scorpion ikakuwa tu na kaondoka ikamoma kwetu sisi ni scorpion imetokea kwa nyumba na ile muua hello hello praise god They used to get the squeeze on as a quick at a cockroach kwa nyumba. Zijae upige dawa hiziki just to make sure you are always uncomfortable. Nini ni? Kwa moja ni pia ya bishop mimi sijielewi. Kuguni zimeja kwa nyumba. Tumepiga dawa. Nyumba ni safi. Nikasema shika tu shimu. I rebuke those powers. I rebuke them. Just within two days hako na taka moja. As a bishop now we are tunaza <laughs> praise God. Bwana sio sana. Siku hizo wanatumia uh, ili usiobe na usiwa na amani, wanatumia powers of disturbance. Powers za kuleta stress, things to cause stress. Stress. Uchanganyikiwe huna amani na nini. They are using all those to kill. Now, what is happening now? Is God want us to do with the system ya Jezebel? Elijah threat alizopata kwa Jezebel was so sharp aliabua hata time atauawa tomorrow such a time i'll slaughter you na alikuwa akijua ah the king has idea Jezebel dio utawala sasa akatoka akaenda bishop alipoenda akaraa chini ya mtu asema Jehova chukua roho yangu please take my heart take my soul na kuna maombi watu wanaomba kuna uchungu watu wako naye kuna kilio hata tuko nayo ambao sio chetu ni cha kuabukizwa na hii roho ya Jezebel so much pain so much frustration extreme oppression mpaka unaomba wrong prayer Tosha ni uwe sasa. Take my soul. Take my soul. It's enough now. Nimehubiri injiri, nimetenda ishara. Na wakati wangu wa kupumzika ni kunywa kauji, tena Jezebel ndio atakuniua. This too much. Kill me Lord. Take me home. Hello. Nyinyi amwedi jubani. Eh niki amwedi mapema hivyo. Leo leo hiyo roho tunaendelea hapa. I know vile and I tell you Hallelujah I'm so surprised the way unajua sasa mimi nimekuwa sasa exposed na vita tuna vita nyingi sana Another day we we had an issue in our bedroom in our prayer room and uh, and my wife said no we are fighting against some wadudu hapo hatujui huwezi kaa unasikia una mauma unapiga dawa unapiga unapiga simu kwa company they recommend special unapiga ukipiga makoti kuomba i said no 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 mama ah no nikachukua anointing oil i anointed our compound 
in our bedroom it is stopped immediately kama mama usisoboke you know one day what i did eh <laughs> kuna somebody who was a satanist who visited our home pastor nikamnyanganya ring and i sensed jeri kwa power yake i did not destroy it nikaweka kwa mesa bedroom and god said no, no, no you never destroy this i destroyed that nikano bedroom we are free but no you see it's so easy what they are using now ni manguvu nguvu ingine mlio kuna kutakuta kwa company nyumbani kwenu kuna stress zinaingia yani unasubuka unasikia kama kuhama unasubuka you don't function kupiga magoti uobe ni problem kusifu ni problem kuketi ukule ni shida kuishi yani stress zingine za kishetani they are calling it plan b plan b na wanaitumia kwa kristo wasema hivi kwa sababu hatuwezi kuaua tuachilie method za kuasubua wawe so uncomfortable washidwe na huduma washidwe na kuomba and then ile cover waliokuwa nayo ishe they are doing that unakuta dada na muangalie the devil comes to steal and then to kill and destroy ha what is stealing ukiangalia like now watu wengi sasa kesha iliibiwa maombi ya kufunga iliibiwa fellowship iliibiwa morning glory iliibiwa the only thing unafanya ni ibada hii ya kwanza 2 hours we never see you again in the ministry there's something wrong ukiona ulikuwa naomba masaa matatu sikizi unaomba dakika tano ujue this disaster ahead because setani hawezi kuua kwanza kabla hajaiba aibe utakatifu aibe kava ile kava uko naye aibe maobi aibe morning glory aibe your devotion aibe your righteousness are you hearing this friends bwana asifiwe amen eh unakuta dada kwa drama ya nyambia bishop i think i'm abnormal muke wa mtu samani why are you abnormal because bishop i don't understand vile unaniwa mimi ni muke wa mtu ameokoka kuna mwanaume jana angeniangusha how mwanaume neighbor alitepa kampa mama god bless habari yako atalimshika mkono akataa na mkono wake na akasikia kabisa atakrona kitu ambao hajawaisikia na huyu mwanaume ndiye aliondoa mkono akamwambia mama do you know jana ningirana na wewe isipokuwa ni vile na heshima mama wako darafikia am i normal that's when sikia hata dada mkija unakuta kwamba una tamaa yakishtak baya baya those are things yani unakuta kwamba the cover is removed defense is removed shetani anaimba maombi ana kile kigefanya uwe na upako damu hizi kufunike kinaondoka unakuta bereni ukikuja hapa mchana unapiga magoti for 2 hours siku hizo hiyo iliibiwa ugeamko nasoma biblia unaandika siku hizo hakuna kesho ulikuwa naombea siku hiyo kona gani pale siku hizo hata hata unashughuli na let me tell the truth don't judge people in the way you see them on sunday no watu wengi sana si wasafi unapata mtu katika siri yake know the way he appears siri yake ni musharati katika siri yake ni mwizi kwa sababu alipotesa cover and by god's grace we are not going to die god bless you hallelujah two things kristo hataki ukae sana hiyo that eight utakaa wewe that eight utakuwa umepoteza your prime time bwana nataka saa hii uwe whole to be whole is to be healed completely at the wetajiri and number two, amen hii roho 
ya Jezebeli huwa iko kitu kinakupinga pako na kosa amani ya moyo you feel like sin mimi ni zeke tu nikufe hapana elija aliabuaje amka kura kunywa kwa maana safari ni defu in other words elijah you have another season and you're not going to die this way utakufa ukiwa already umemaliza kazi na umehad over anointing amen let's start for prayer baba katika jina la yesu twakupa sifa kwa utukufu wako twakupa sifa kwa nguvu zako ambazo ziko hapa e mungu wa haki na uweza saa hii unaniambia kwamba unaambia watu kwa ibada they should be whole now hakuna mtu atakaa tena katika uremafu hakuna mtu atakaa tena katika utumwa hakuna dada au dugu wa kanisa atakaa bila kazi atakaa kwa nyupa atakaa bila ufunuo atakaa bila kujua jia twakataa hii nafasi zinazopotea we are claiming our prime time we are claiming our prime season we are claiming our prime years in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name I'd like to pray for you kila mtu hapa na usiona kama uko na msaha usinunue mkono kama uelewi usinunue mkono hallelujah wapendwa watakiwa kuwa unaingiza pesa nyingi sio pesa ambao unahesabu unakosa maana yake Watakiwa kuwa ukiamka asubuhi unaamka na furaha ukienda kutimiza your career kwa maana we ni mtu wa Mungu we si mtu wa mataifa we sio we sio mulevi we sio mtu wa bangi ulikobolewa you should get your inheritance vijana ambao mko hapa young boys and girls watakiwa at the age of 25 uwe already umeshika jia ya kazi umeshika jia ya performance Umeshika kama wewe ni injinia umetokea kama wewe ni mwanabiashara already hiyo barabara umeshika kama wewe ni mwalimu hiyo barabara umeshika kama wewe ni mtu wa kwenda ngabo already hayo maono is becoming clear mambo ya kukaa miaka thate hujui what you are doing that is from the devil devil is a thief Mambo ya kusoma umalizi shule, mambo ya kusoma degree umalizi, mambo ya kuokoa mitihani is not devil should not steal from you your performance. Watoto wetu waoe wakati ufao. Hallelujah. Hautaki kuona wewe baba ukiwa guka unalea wajukuu. We want your son to marry right re, awe na baraka alea watoto wake si akulete. Tuataka your your daughter aolewe vizuri si aolewe na mkora aende azaye watoto akuachie kwa nyumba no way i say we should live right life jesus is coming and he is here anasema ukautapoteza munda kama huu mtu amekadhatait anasema you must be whole now you must be whole now you must be whole now watakiwa uwe mzima sasa kuwa mzima sio tu kupona is to be totally emancipated kukobolewa kwa ukamilifu in jesus name you should be quickened you should be quickened imamba ya kuwa mvivu unasikia kulala kila wakati unasikia hata una speed ukiamuka ujui uende wapi unasurura ovyo ovyo that is not our portion you should be whole you should be whole in Jesus name you should be whole in Jesus name hiyo giza ya akili huo utumwa ulio kwa nafsi yako kwa mamlaka ya damu ya Yesu i break it now i destroy it now i release your might from the devil i release your might from the devil i release your might from satan inatumika roho kwa If you are serious, God is blessing you with your talent. Kama ni magari upate magari kuanzia wiki hii. Kama unaoa Mungu afungue mlango wa kuoa kuanzia sasa. Kama ni mashaba uanze sasa. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Doa yako inayokusumbua isiwe subua tena. Kama ni doa iwe doa kamili sio sio doa nusu. 
kama ni kulea watoto uwale kwa jia kamili sio mchezo wa pendwa you should be whole jesus anauliza mapema do you want to be whole you should be whole not only be, god is not only healing you he wants to be whole and now in the name of jesus bwana wa mabwana mwenye uliponya ulimwambia jabra kwanza achukue godoro uliponya mikono yake kwanza jabra pili ukamponya hali ya maendeleo ukamwambia nao sikuponyi ukae hapa na kuponya uende chukua godoro si usimame ni uende in other words jesus you healed him no kamuingiza kwa mpango wa mobility mobility that is moving from glory to glory chukua godoro na uende songa mbele god heal mikono yetu na uanzisha mpangilio wa kusonga mbele from glory to glory and now in the name of jesus what do I you cry about the he I declare from the mouth of Jesus be whole now I say be whole now be whole now Jesus be glorified Na wewe unasikia kama Elijah umetishwa na maroho ya Jezebel ya siku hizi The Lord is saying rise up again Kwa maana Jezebel hatakuoa wewe ndio tamhukumu wewe ndio tamumalizia wewe ndio tatumwa na Bwana umalizie wanaokutisha hawatakuweza wewe ndio tawamalizia in the name of the lord hokata papaka reposota pikata receive a new season pokea majira mapya oh my god i worship you kila mshirika wa Bwana pokea majira mapya hakuyajua lakini umemwekea tutamalizia mwendo salama tutamalizia mwendo salama Jezebel hatatua hatutamalizia kwa mikono ya Jezebel we are not finished in the in the hands of Jezebel hatutamalizia mwendo kwa mikono yako Jezebel the lord is our portion the lord is our strength the lord is our hope na wote mlio kwa ibada hii Mungu anakuamuru sasa Amka utakula na utavaa chakula ambao Bwana anapeana kwa maana kama Elijah utamalizia kwa mlima wa Bwana aise utamalizia kwa mlima wa Bwana hautamalizia chini ya mti ukigojea kukufa kwa sababu ya frustration you finish the journey and the mountain of the Lord my God cover us cover us we love you Lord in Christ we pray.